Hello, welcome Tina. I'm so excited that you are here and that everyone's going to get to meet you and to join in our conversation about your journey. And I, and, and I know that you've got so much wisdom to share as part of your experience as well. So I'm really excited that you're gonna be able to, to share that with everyone. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do so people can get to know you a little bit? Great, thanks Louisa, I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so I am from Toronto, Canada, and I grew up there and I met my now ex-husband uh, in Toronto and he always wanted to come back to his, his birthplace, which is in the Caribbean. So we um, made a move 17 years ago in December and we've been living here ever since and raised our two beautiful daughters who are now 18 and 20. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that time go? <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. And so it was a really lovely journey. And it's I love being here. I love the country. I love the beauty that surrounds me. So I feel very blessed to be here. And I transition from massage therapy to online energy healing and um, guided meditation and life and mindset coaching for a couple of reasons. One is because my girls are, are um, trying to become pro-level tennis players. Which wow. Them not to be here. <laughs> 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 and traveling a lot. So I have the desire to still help and still grow my business and not lose that part of me, mm -hmm. as well as helping others, um, as well as helping them. So that's, that was the initial push. And now it's just what I love to do. I love the interaction. I love that I'm an international healer. I can help anybody in the world and whoever's willing and open to receiving, it's theirs to have, so. Oh, and I know your work is magic and your clients are so lucky to work with you. It's just incredible what you do. What inspired, inspired you to to join the wealth portal that's where our, our journey of working together started what was it that inspired you to to join the wealth portal so i was telling somebody the other day so i was part of a network um group and i met a lady who emailed me then about your five day um free master class series i was part of that and it, it was, I was just feeling really amazing and it, I was getting a lot of releases and, and my business was growing and I was like, hey. And so <laughs> I did, I did say applied kinesiology as taught in the program and it was a hell yes. <laughs> and so I joined the wealth portal. Um, a lot of, I've been struggling with money for a long time. And this is a piece that I hadn't worked on is the energetics. There's a lot of mindset stuff I've done, uh, I've done with it and a lot of um, sort of self-analyzation and, and free stuff. And I've been in a couple of money programs, but they're all cerebral. Mm. So, um, I, I, I need to, to get out of the head and come into my heart as well as the energetics. And the more and more I'm doing the energy work, I know the value of it and how important it is and how powerful and potent it is. So it is, it's subconscious stuff we're not even aware of. And it really helps release a lot of that. It really does, isn't it? Because it, 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 I often find with clients that they'll, um, we'll have a story running of why we are in a certain position, you know, whatever it is, whether it's in love, money, the, you know, our weight, our health, um, our vitality, whatever, whatever area of, uh, of life it might be, whether it's your career, whatever it is. So we have the story of saying, oh, this is the, what the resistance is. But there's always another layer. And often it's like you might muscle test and do the kinesiology on one layer and then you get a completely different response you're like why is that that's the story i've been running it's like uh, -uh. 
<laughs> well, there's many times when I was going through the program at the beginning of each week, we had um, an opportunity to release a lot of these things, uh, the stories that are running behind our subconscious mind. And I was like, really? I, I muscle tested for that? That surprised me. Like a lot of surprises came up and I'm like, okay, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't know, and I still don't know why, but it is what it is. Like, it just, just trust the process and, and release whatever's there. And, and I'm, I've realized I don't have to know the how or the why. It just, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love it. I love it. Well, you really showed up for yourself in the program, and I loved how you, uh, you know, you were asking questions in the group and doing Facebook lives in the group as your you know accountability and updates it was wonderful to to see and to you know be I'd be replying back with you know Facebook videos to to offer you know guidance if there was a question that you'd ask and stuff mm. tell us a little bit about the results that you got while you were in the in the program well I tripled my income Yay! which was so exciting and so um yeah it was it was brilliant. It, and so a little backstory um, with COVID, a lot of my massage clients have completely left the island. Um, and I had a few come back and then I was booked more busy than it was almost like COVID wasn't in existence because we didn't have COVID in the country. So a lot of the clients had come back and I was able to either go to their homes or they came to my clinic. And then I, I was attracting um, energy clients to me out of the blue. And it was like, okay, not sure what's going on. And, <laughs> but I'm so grateful. So it was so exciting. And then this, the second month in it, I, doubled the income and it's just been great oh I love it that's so exciting and I know that from from our time in the wealth book you then stepped in to do the Ak Akashic Records what was it that inspired you to join the the Akashic Records certification program yeah that's an that's an interesting question because honestly I don't even know uh, <laughs> I, I haven't been heard of it even heard of Akashic Records <laughs> and um, until like three months ago or something and I, I was actually taking a soul journey program it was a year-long process and somebody had mentioned it and then I asked the instructor and she kind of gave us a, a bit of an overview and I thought mm, okay nothing really can I kind of connected or felt anything and then you offered it and I don't know why, but I did the ply kinesiology thing and it's like, yep, do it. And I'm like, okay. So <laughs> I paid in full because I made all that money and I did the three levels and almost finished the level three. So that's congratulations. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been interesting, but it's been my life. So I did an interview several months ago and it's always been a building block like somebody suggests something so I take the chance and I do it and then there's something else and then I take the chance to do it so I'm open to those shifts and uh one of one of the guys that I connected with in the, a networking uh group called me hmm. Tina Pivot Hull <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'm very capable, I'm very willing to keep pivoting and, and growing and expanding and being open to opportunities and suggestions. And, and obviously not everything. I've got standards and boundaries that I've learned to implement. So, and the Akashic Records have me on like a no, no buy zone. <laughs> So, so they've got me on a yeah dude, don't buy just trust just keep keep trusting I love how your relationship with the record keepers has has grown over the time what's what's been the the greatest uh result breakthrough gift from the working with the Akashic Records so many um yeah so I have a deeper connection spiritually Mm -hmm. I have a deeper connection with 
God, source, the universe, and my higher power, trusting myself on levels that I have never trusted myself, and also the source of it all. So I've always been very spiritual, and I kind of went away with it because I had some negative uh, reactions from friends and family and, and along the way still kept a spiritual life, but I think had been kind of subdued about it. Mm. And this is just amped it up. And it is, I, I can't even begin to tell you, honestly, from a personal level, it's been the biggest blessing. And for the, the people that I've been working with, it's been amazing to see their results. And, and it, again, it's a trust thing because it's coming to me and through me but I'm hearing my own voice. So I've had to really just kind of breathe through it a few times because it's like, okay, is this coming from me or is it coming from them? But I know that we're taught if it's coming from me, my mouth is going to be garbled and I won't be able to get a sentence out. So I just trust that if it's coming out, it's coming through me. So yeah. it's, yeah, amazing yeah. results. We are the vessel as uh, they work, work through us. That's mm -hmm. one of the things I think that is um, such a gift is your relationship with trust, working with the Akashic Records, um, like you said. And, it's, and it surprises people, I think, in terms of um, how it can bubble up. And as you grow on your journey and your gifts develop and your because your intuition goes through the roof <laughs> when you're uh, working in the records alongside that, that, that develops um outside of the records as well yeah and i i had been connecting to my higher self mm. um so what was also really lovely is that i was being reinforced that that connection was very clear like it was solid because when i would go into the records and question it it was like no no you're doing the right thing you're on the right path you're making the right move uh, reinforcing what I was doing even before then so this just kind of went okay yay I'm excited because now I know that I, I am connected to my soul self and I'm being led and guided and trusting the path and and not it wasn't just me making it up because I think a lot of us question when we hear those voices or we have that nudge or that idea, we question if it's actually ego or mm. if it's something that we actually should do. And then the doubt comes up and ego does come up and start to, you know, get into the worry state. I don't even question anymore. The Akashic records even pull me in. I do a post um, and and or I've created programs through it. I have um I have oh yeah it's been great <laughs> <laughs> oh I love it it's so exciting to to witness you fly Tina it really is what would you tell you know a coach or an entrepreneur who is wanting to and I guess there's two aspects through your experience in terms of you know having that breakthrough in the income ceiling mm -hmm. and then also um that that connection spiritually what advice would you have for them jump in the programs, <laughs> they work. Um, yeah, it's it truly is about trust and it's about trusting ourselves, trusting the universe, trusting the divine guidance. And there is a, a path. I've been watching Abraham and Hicks for a while now. And I've, I've been aware of this as a concept and I've been trying to live it. And these two programs really have just helped solidify them. Mm -hmm. So it's just been, um, you have to be open and willing to receive. You have to be willing to trust that what's happening is for your best and highest good, because that's the intention that they come from. So it's not, um, it's, they're not just programs that I've ever experienced. It's not an intellectual thing. It's certainly an energetic experience, but it's also a heart-led experience. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Why, why, wise words. Thank you so much for, for, for sharing that. What, what would you say that you, you know, you're most grateful for 
along your your journey I'm most grateful for the journey itself mm. i'm really honestly in the last two and well two and a half years for sure um and maybe even the last four things have just been guiding me in the right direction and um i i feel more in my power than I have ever been. I feel I know who I am. I know what I'm about. I know my values. I know my morals. I am trusting and knowing also very strongly that I can help many people. And so it's not just about um, coming up against the brick walls like because I used to have that. Mm. <laughs> I used to literally feel like a block, like a wall that was between me and money. And I, all of a sudden clients canceled and they weren't showing up and, or I wasn't getting any phone calls. And I'd be like, what is going on? And now I don't have that. I, I just really know that the direction I'm being led is, is going to lead me to greater things. So exciting to hear that. And that bit that you were speaking to around recognizing the mirrors and magnets and thinking like why the clients are canceling, what is going on? So often it can even be if you have that like that thought of, oh, I just don't have enough time. Boom, boom, boom. Three mm -hmm. clients cancel. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but behind that a layer of thought of I haven't got enough time is those core concepts and that identity of that's driving those other thoughts that are floating around in your in your human Wi-Fi going, here, give me some more of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. um, that's fantastic that you've got that pathway now and you know and trust that you are. It's it is we're and the thing is we're always on a journey. You've, every sort of milestone that we hit, we, we're going on the next level, the next expansion, and living into our next mm -hmm. version of ourselves and our highest potential. So yeah, and and I think for myself, and I think a lot of other people feel like there's like an end. No, ending is dying. <laughs> so it's an acceptance that it's not ending. It's mm. always, there's always something and there's always something else. And there's always something else that will raise its ugly head with ego. And we, you know, I've become so consciously aware of those ego thoughts now that I can coach myself through them and I can just release them and let them go and suit the ego and, and just step back into alignment. So it's been really amazing. And, and also getting verification from the records that I am in alignment. So that is really a beautiful blessing as well, because when things aren't going well in your life, we, we have a tendency, and I know I do, is blame ourselves, judge ourselves, think that we're doing something quote unquote wrong. Mm. And the biggest message for me lately has just been surrender. Just let it go, have fun, enjoy life, do what you need to do and allow the process to happen. So, yeah. Truth, truth bombs you're dropping right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tina, thank you so much. I could talk to you all day. Thank <laughs> you for, for joining me and, and sharing your experience with everybody here. I'm so, so grateful. And uh, I know that there's some nuggets of wisdom here that people will be able to take away and implement in, in their own lives as well. So thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who has joined us to listen to, to Tina's story and her journey. Lots and lots of love.